Alright, so, um, doing a video response to Black Nerd Comedy and his review about Power Rangers and Force Episode 1. Basically, I had a lot of thoughts about it. And so, first, I'll go for the nostalgia factor. First off, I did like how they made it, tried to make it like the first one, you know, with the high schoolers, and then, you know, they got the Blue Ranger, who's a nerd, and, um, you know, the that Red Ranger with that silky hair, just like goes forward and stuff. I like that part, but then there was some parts that was just like, what? Like, okay. Basically, it is cheap. <laughs> like, like Black Nerds say, it sounds like they was just like doing a rehearsal reel or whatever from their lines. It's like, like they say they're saying their lines, but like it sounds as if like maybe they're just like by this. Like it sounds like how how you would like say your lines if you're just giving them for the first time. You're like holding the script, and you're all like. Okay, so <clears throat> what is all of this Power Ranger business about? Hmm, and stuff. Yeah, that's what it sounds like. But um, but like, okay, one of the things that really got me though was like, okay, I like, I love how they're in high school and stuff, and how they are, you know, teenage. Well, they are even teenagers throughout the most. Well most of the series, but how they're teenagers in high school and stuff, and they even have a hangout place. This is a juice bar this time, just like it was last time, and it's also Ernie's. But the thing that had me this time was like, the thing, what they did this time that had me go, what the crap, is the vast difference in the Ernie. Because they, they made another character named Ernie on Ernie's juice bar or whatever. But, okay, if you all remember from Mighty Morphin Power Rangers to Power Rangers Zeo, I, I believe it was. You know, Ernie was that big fat guy in his Hawaiian shirts. And he just gave you that real warm, lovey feeling. He's like, oh, Ernie's such a cool guy. Always giving the Rangers smoothies and stuff on the house, letting them exercise or, and perform martial arts and stuff. Now that I think about it, it's kind of weird to have a juice bar and a, like martial arts physical gym place. Like, like just like, <sighs> okay, I just spar with three people, three rounds each. Now I need a smoothie. You just, you just. Well, yeah. well yeah, I don't know. I don't have a straw in it, so whatever. Anyway, but yeah, the thing that got me with Ernie though was yeah, like I said last time, Ernie was fat, Caucasian, had Hawaiian shirts, and he had no homo, a gorgeous head of hair for a dude, no homo. This time, Ernie. Was a Middle Eastern. Well, he is a Middle Eastern, and he's bald, and he's skinny, and he sells yogurt also. Wait, was it yogurt or was it ice cream? Whatever, any of those. But yeah. Okay. Next thing, um, cause for those, of you, hold on, let's see. Uh, the Black Ranger seemed cheap. His personality. Seem real cheap. It's either bad writing or bad acting. Either bad writing or bad acting. I think it's bad acting. Cause I mean, ooh, I can fight with a soccer ball. Look at me kick. But um, Pink Ranger, dear God, she is very sexy. Yellow Ranger, she, uh, dear God, the Pink Ranger's legs. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. But yeah, I love how they made Gosei sound like Zordon. And for those of you who don't know, that's not the voice actor of Zordon. The voice actor of Zordon is dead. Also, the guy who played the original Ernie, he's dead too. Rest in peace. But yeah, um, the Blue Ranger actually gets on my nerves a bit. Noah. Like, it's like, 
It's like nobody's that nobody's that kind of nerd. Especially not no black guy. I mean, there are black nerds like Black Nerd from Black Nerd Comedy and me. It's, but it's like there's no It's like Oh, well, um I don't know, whatever stupid stuff he said, man, he was annoying. But anyway, he was like, it's scientifically impossible or whatever. It's scientifically impossible, my ass. But anyway, um, let's see, um, uh, the Red Ranger, um, wasn't really much to say about him. I mean, he doesn't seem, he seems like, okay, he's like most Power Rangers, Red Rangers, that are like quiet in the beginning and stuff, so not much really to say about him right now. But they did, I can see they went for somebody who looks kind of Austin St. John, it's like I said, with the hairstyle and all that. But, um, let's see, okay. I mean, if, oh yeah, for those of you who don't know, Power Rangers is a TV show that is adapted from the Japanese Super Sentai series. It's like this. There's a Japanese show, and the parts where they morph and fight and stuff, they take that footage, and they they mute it, and they record over it for the fight scenes. And then for all of the, the scenes when they're not in their costumes and stuff, they shoot new footage. And a lot of the times, they do shoot new footage with, with, fight, with American fights and stuff in it. But majority of the time, it's Japanese footage is just being overdubbed, which is like that's one of the things I kind of didn't like that much about this first episode. It had a lot of Ghost Sager footage in it, cause oh yeah, Go the the Super Sentai that that um Power Rangers Megaforce Force is adapted from is the 2010 Super Sentai Tenso Sentai Ghost Sager, which was about angels and it was very boring. Not because it was about angels. I actually liked that, but the show was just very boring. It sucked. Whatever. Anyway, I, I stopped on episode 15 of that because it was boring. But I did watch the one that came after it, Go Kaiser. Speaking of which, the for those of you, you who don't know, the the Power Ranger, little Power Ranger thingies that are lined up in the the power chamber or whatever with Gosei and stuff. Speaking of which, that's why his name is Gosei because this is that from Tenso Sentai Gosei. But, um... But yeah, those are the Ranger Keys from the 2011 Super Sentai, which is the 35th anniversary Super Sentai. And speaking of which, Power Rangers Mega Force is the 20th anniversary Power Rangers. But yeah, and that Super Sentai is about pirates, and they use those keys to transform into every other, into any Sentai Ranger, Sentai Senshi that came before that series. So yeah. They use those keys to turn into Power Rangers, different Power Rangers in Go Kaiser, which I'm hoping they're they're gonna do with this later. I don't know how they're gonna do it. May, I'm thinking maybe they're gonna do like Power Rangers Turbo, and like and like um like have the series in, and then the people get new powers and stuff or whatever, like how they did Power Rangers Turbo and Power Rangers in Space or whatever. But um, but yeah, um. Yeah, what else did it, about it? Uh, I, like, okay, I did like, yeah, so I like Gosei's voice. And, you know, they use the gotcha, the, what is it, the, the whatever the thing is, the morpher thing, the got what is it called in Japan, it was the gotcha reader or something like that. They use that for Gosei's form. Um, what I did like is the robot they, they used to be like Alpha 5. It was like, okay, a bootleg Wally you couldn't have made it. Could have just got another guy in a suit, or like, or like, or like Black Nerd said, just get another Alpha. You own him. <laughs> you created him. You own the rights. You can make a costume. Get a little, I don't know, five foot guy to get in it. It would have looked better instead of that CGI robot. Um, let's see. Funny thing. Another thing is like they left. They left the um, the um, the. Words on the cards the same. I thought they were gonna like digitally. Oh, okay, no, no. That's why I thought that they were gonna shoot new footage because I thought maybe they had like replaced the words on the cards or whatever. But whatever. But I see that's why they left his name. The, that's why they made the the 
the big floaty head guy. I don't know if he's even floating or is he like mounted in the wall. But the deep voice guy, the Zorn honest guy, Gose. I know. I see that's why they left his name Gose. So that even because even though they're like. It's like red Nigga Force Ranger on the car. It still says Go Say Red, like on the Sentai and Go Say But, um, yeah, I mean, it's, it's, good. it's good overall. I really like it. I really love, like, how, cause, like, because, uh, see, I get, because, okay, uh, if, if most of y'all, like, people who grew up in the 90s know this, like, like, children and teenage shows in the 90s, like, 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 reality shows, shows that are, like, live action, they had like bright colors, like like if you pay attention, to like look like like look at the school in Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. It's like everything in there is like brightly colored, like pinks and greens and blues and stuff. But then you look at Power Rangers Mega Force, everything is like normal color. Everything's not too bright. It's not too bright and not too dull. And it's like it's it's, it's more dull than it was in the nineties, but it's it's it's. it's it's less dull. It seems more realistic. I like that. It's it's a different feel. It's the same. It's like the same feel I got from Power Rangers Samurai. I mean, maybe it's the HD cameras and stuff. <laughs> that makes it feel so different. But um, but I really do like Power Rangers Mega Force, and I will watch the rest of it as it comes out. God willing. And I am a long time Power Rangers and Super Sentai fan. Well, Power Rangers Super Sentai, Common Rider. Masked Rider, you know, that English version from the 90s that got canceled because <laughs> Ishinomori saw it and refused to give them any footage, <laughs> any more footage. But um, Beetleboards, you know, the Metal Hero, Sherylon and stuff, the Space Sheriffs, Uchu Keiji, and uh, what was that, VR Troopers, and um, B Fighter, B Fighter Kabuto. I love Tokusatsu in general. I also I love manga, anime, I love drawing. But yeah, Power Rangers Mega Force. I give it a for the first episode. I will give it a. I give it a nine out of ten. All right, that's my video response. So talk to y'all later.